Michael and Savannah. You've come here today before these witnesses to express your desire to become husband and wife. You've made the choice to spend the rest of your lives learning and expressing your love for each other in the act of marriage. The real act of marriage takes place in the heart, not in the ballroom of the church or the synagogue. It's a choice that you make, not just on your wedding day, but over and over again. As Barbara DeAngelis states, this act of marriage is a choice you make to love, which is reflected in the way that you treat your spouse, not just today, but every day for the rest of your lives. I'm Michael, take the Savannah to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. Michael, you have been literally the most thoughtful person that I've ever known, and you go out of your way to treat me like family. You are officially my brother in law. So I love you both. I was lucky to have a little brother as cool as Michael growing up. It was like having a built in best friend. A lot of the time was spent trying to kill each other. But once Michael got a little bit bigger than me, that ended pretty fast. I can't wait to make more amazing memories with you guys. I will always remember when Savannah first told me about Michael, and she said, isn't he so cute? <laughs> and of course, sarcastically, I'm like, all right, let me see him. I was like, damn, he's pretty cute, right? And, uh, his thoughtfulness towards others is truly a special trait. And uh, he made a special point to officially ask for her hand in marriage, which is pretty old school and pretty badass. So thank you. Savannah, the first time I met you, I could tell, I, I could really see it in Michael's eyes that he loved you. Seeing how happy Michael is makes me happy, makes his mom happy. Congratulations, cheers.